Are you someone who's confused about which FPV drone to start your journey with? Um, wait, I am so confused. Should it be a 5 inch quad or a ducted Cinebu? Well, this video will help you find out. I've been using both of these drones for different scenarios for more than 5 years now and will help you spot the similarities and the differences between them. Let's start with the similarities, then talk about the differences and lastly discuss some common use case scenarios which will help you relate to your own usage and make you pick the right partner for yourself. First is the purpose. Both of the drones serve the same purpose, the thrill and the freedom of flying like a bird and capturing visuals and immersive perspective that you can share with the world. Then comes the cost. I would say there's only a negligible cost difference, which is mainly due to the different frames in the builds. Then comes the third, which is the camera quality. Both of these drones use the similar uh, FPV cameras and the custom cameras that we put on it. So the experience you'll get out of this activity will be fairly similar. Then fourth is the flight range. Since the range of your flight depends on the VTX, radio receiver, and the kind of antennas that you use on both of the drones. So the flight range would be very similar depending on which environment you're flying these drones in. Now highlighting the differences between them, as clearly evident from the appearance, the five inch drone is more of a free and wild soul, while the Cinewoop has a protected appearance for control and smoother maneuvers. Now let's discuss the payload. The five inch frame can evidently take more payload due to the powerful motors and the component used in the frame rather than the Cinewoop, which is used for lighter, smoother flights. Then comes the blade size and the speed. Well, as clearly evident, you can see that the five inch drone takes five inch propellers, which creates more thirst and can easily touch about 140 km per hour speed, considering that we're using a fully charged and high capacity LiPo battery, while the Cinewoop takes about 3.5 inch propellers, generating lesser thirst and can get cranky sometimes even touching 60 to 70 km per hour speed. Then talking about the safety, 5 inch birdies are more dangerous and damage prone than the Cinewoops because of their agility and nakedness. Now, due to their raw and unprotected design, they are way more agile, fast in maneuvers. When talking about different use case scenarios, these five inch drones are used mostly in outdoor spaces and vast environments where we can utilize their agility, speed, while the Cinewoops we mostly use indoors for smoother flights. And when talking about flying around people, their safety is our first priority. So we use a ducted drone for the safety of the people and having safer flight around people. So bottom line is if you are someone who wants the pure thrill of speed and freedom, go with a 5 inch drone like a Diatune Roma 5 inch that I personally use and go practice outside responsibly. But if you are someone who prefers smooth and safer experiences, go with a ducted Cinewoop like a Gap RC 3.5 inch Cinelope that I personally use for smoother experiences. I hope this video helped you conclude which quad serves you the best. And if you need resources to buy these FPV drones and their parts from, I've talked about five reliable Indian FPV websites that you can buy your FPV gear from. Check them out from the link in the description and subscribe to the channel for more videos on FPV travel and self-development. Feel free to drop any feedback or comment on this video and until then, keep flying.